Hall, an Academy winning performance, a true box office success. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the United Nations Messenger of Peace, Michael Douglas. Thank you. Thank you. Excellencies, special guests, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I guess as far as this lunch is concerned, I'm the last man standing. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a privilege to be a part of what I believe is an increasingly important task. Sewing together the many actors who make up the fabric of the 21st century to work together for the noblest of causes in a more peaceful and prosperous world. And it's fitting that today's event commemorates the great Nelson Mandela. And in 1996, I had the honor to spend time with President Mandela at his home in Johannesburg. And to have been in the presence of such a special human is something that I'm going to always cherish forever. President Mandela's legacy is one of endurance, of tolerance, of faith, and the better angels of humanity. And it's our obligation to live up to it. The world needs such ideals. It's riven with conflict and turmoil. The money spent on weapons could meet many of the sustainable development goals. We hear dangerous rhetoric not heard since the darkest days of, of the Cold War. Rapid technological advances in biology, artificial intelligence, and cyberspace will transform the planet mostly to the better, but unchecked, they could cause social upheaval or inflame global conflicts. The private sector has a special role to ensure that its creations are not used maliciously or for unintended purposes that cause harm. Looking at the world today, I often recall Buckminster Fuller's concept of spaceship Earth. And as he said 50 years ago, quote, we are not going to be able to operate our spaceship Earth successfully, nor for much longer, unless we see our fate as common, end of quote. Ours is a fragile planet. It should be cherished not tainted by conflict. And in the United Nations, we have the organization best place to pursue global peace. I am heartened by today's discussion and that so many here are willing to champion their cause. Because only by working together, governments, business, civil society, people, all of us, we can create a better world. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen people looking at their watches. Bravo! Congratulations! We have kept to time. Now, most importantly, you have to keep your commitments. On a day when we gathered together to mark 10 years of a private sector forum organized by the Global Compact, 100 years had Nelson Mandela lived long enough to see this day, but his spirit was with us here in this lovely setting for lunch. And a day in which through all of our conversations were threaded these 17 sustainable development goals. Ladies and gentlemen, they are very, very important goals, but very, very hard to achieve. Bigger than one institution, one agency, one corporation can achieve. So it's up to all of us, from wherever we sit, at wherever we stand, to work together. And you have a roadmap. These eight multilateral initiatives, multi-stakeholder initiatives. And coincidentally or not, it's the number eight. Now, 
The Chinese always have some special significance about numbers. Ren, what does eight mean in Chinese? It's increasing. Increasing profits. So there you go. The United Nations says very cleverly, this is the BBC, I'm giving you a little secret, eight ways in which you can make the world a better place and at the same time promote profits, promote people, and save the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's thank all of us for coming here today. Go well into, back into your worlds, and when you come back next year, may you be able to say that 365 days later, the world is a better place. Thank you very much.